Hi YouTube and welcome to Maria's Kitchen. Tonight's menu is chicken burritos. So on um, on another video I made um, pico de gallo. So you're gonna make that and you're gonna set it off on the side. A pack of boneless chicken, which I have right here. You're gonna cut it into strips, uh, right here. And um, you're gonna rinse it in water and then vinegar. You're gonna put um, pepper and adobo. That's it, you're not gonna put any other seasoning. You're gonna set that off on the side. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put it to start cooking now. You heat, medium. Okay. Next step is for the burritos, I'm going to make black beans. So you're going to turn this um, ve um, vegetable oil to coat the bottom of the pan. Here I have chopped cilantro, chopped um, uh, white onions, um, a third a third of uh, chopped red peppers, a third of chopped green peppers. You're going to use one tablespoon of um, garlic puree, salt and pepper, and that's just for the beans. Another thing you're going to do is you're going to prepare your rice. I'm going to make three cups of rice. Well, as a matter of fact, I'm going to make two cups of rice. You're going to prepare two cups of rice and you, the way you, white rice, the way you make it, your style, and you're going to set it off on the side. Okay, if you want to know the way I'm making it, I'm just going to put salt and um and uh, olive, um, olive oil as far as seasoning on, on the rice and that's it. Okay, so first thing you're gonna do is, now your, your pot is heated enough, so you're going to add your vegetables and you're gonna saute them first. Give that a minute to saute. In the meantime, your next pot for the chicken should be already hot. All you're doing is you're going to sear it. Sear it on both sides. And then you're going to, after it's cooked, set off to the side to cool down. And you're going to chop it. Okay, so my vegetables have been sautéed for about two minutes. That's what it looks like. What it's supposed to look like. Next, I'm going to use one can. Wait, before I put that can, a tablespoon of garlic puree. Mix that together. And then the next is one can of black beans. Doesn't have to be Goya, it could be any brand you like, with the juice. going to stir it and let it boil for like five minutes. The beans are cooked in really fast. In the meantime, stir, uh, turn your chicken over to the other side. You're looking for a color like this. It's a little bit golden. Okay? This is my bean. Salt and pepper. This is the taste. So you put as much as you want and you have to taste the, the beans. If you like it with that much flavor, and I ran out of black pepper. <laughs> it just came from the supermarket. Okay, you're gonna add some salt. Um, another way you could do this is that in the supermarket they sell a chipotle sauce that is right next to the steak sauce. You can put chipotle sauce into this if you want a little bit of heat. I don't want heat today. Okay, so my beans have been cooking for another two minutes and you see it's boiling. I tasted it, it's the flavor that I want. So I'm gonna turn it off and your beans for your burritos are done. Now focus on the chicken and if you haven't already done so, start cooking your um, rice. Okay, I'm gonna leave it a little bit more. So I'm gonna cook all my chicken, cut it, put my rice to cook, and then I'll get back to you and show you what it looks like when you're sending. Chicken is done, and I cut them into small cubes. So I got everything ready. You're gonna get cheese, your whatever cheese you're using. I'm using queso de papa and um, sour cream. And for the wrap, I'm using uh, flour tortillas. Not the little one, the big ones are better. 
They sell them bigger than this, but the supermarket didn't have it. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take a scoop of rice, rice, and pat it down. If you want to heat up the tortilla, you can. You don't have to. I'm not heating up mine. Then the next thing you're gonna do is the beans. The beans you put as much as you want to put. Then next you're gonna put is some chicken. This is like uh like when you go to Chipotle. It's just it's at home and it's much more fresh because you're making everything yourself. And this is the pico de gallo, this is optional. Also another thing you could put is um avocado, but my avocado is too hard, it's not ripe yet. Here you go, sour cream. And some tomatoes. I mean, sorry. Cheese. Some cheese. <laughs> okay, next thing you're going to do, you're going to fold the side. Okay. I fold it. I try to bring it to one side. Fold it like this. Like this. You got it. Here goes my burrito. I'm just gonna cut it in half so you can see everything inside. Okay, wait. Here you have it, chicken burrito. So thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe. Remember you can make the best in your kitchen and stay tuned for more videos.